Hi everyone, my name is Ryan. I'm with Sonos Customer Care and today I'm going to guide you through some steps you can take to get Sonos back up and running if you've recently made a network change like changing your Wi-Fi password or replacing your router altogether. Now, if you've made a change like this, you'll likely open up your Sonos app and see a screen like this showing that Sonos is having some trouble connecting. I'll walk you through how to fix this, but we first need to figure out if your Sonos system is in a standard setup or a boost setup since there's a different set of steps for each. So I have two Sonos systems here. One is in a standard setup and the other is in a boost setup. Now the main difference between these two setups is whether or not you have a Sonos device wired to your router with an ethernet cable. In a standard setup, all of your Sonos players connect directly to the router's Wi-Fi network, the same way that your phones, tablets, and laptops do. And all of your Sonos players stay connected by remembering the Wi-Fi network name and the Wi-Fi password that they were given when they were originally set up. A boost setup works a little bit differently since my Sonos players don't have to connect directly to the router's Wi-Fi network, so they don't have to worry about a Wi-Fi network name or Wi-Fi password. Instead, you have at least one Sonos product wired to the router with an ethernet cable, in this case, my Sonos Boost. And that's what creates the Sonos dedicated wireless network that allows all my players to communicate. Regardless of what setup you're using, the first step is always gonna be the same for both. And that is to check the device that you use to control Sonos, your phone, your tablet, whatever it may be, and make sure it's on the correct Wi-Fi network. On my iPhone, I can do this under settings and then Wi-Fi and see which network I'm connected to. Whatever network change you've made, you want to make sure your device is on the new updated network. If your device is connected to a different network, then it won't be able to see your Sonos system at all, so it's an important first step to take. Next, let's talk about what to do if your Sonos system is in a standard setup. Now, I have my Play 1 here that needs to be updated with the new wireless information, either because I replaced my router or because I changed the Wi-Fi password. Now, right now, the Play 1 is still trying to connect using the old wireless information which doesn't exist anymore, so it's not going anywhere. Now, the first step in fixing that is to get the Play 1 connected to the router using an ethernet cable. And once I plug the Play 1 into the router, it's going to reappear in the Sonos app, uh, but we aren't finished yet because we still need to use the Sonos app to provide the new network information to the player. To do this, I'll open the Sonos app and then select Settings, Advanced Settings, Wireless Setup. And this process will guide me through connecting Sonos to the Wi-Fi again. Once I've entered in my new password and the process tells me that it's finished, I can disconnect the Ethernet cable from my Play 1, move it back to where it was before, and it'll stay connected to the Wi-Fi network. It's important to note that Sonos will look like it's working fine when it's connected with an Ethernet cable. However, it won't stay connected to your Wi-Fi until you finish going through that wireless setup option. However, once that's done, Sonos will stay connected to your Wi-Fi and you're all set. So now let's talk about a boost setup. I've just replaced my old router with this new one and I've plugged my boost into it with its ethernet cable. When I did that, the Sonos app showed me that it could find the boost, but not the Play 1. And the reason for that is the Play 1 is still using old network information from the previous router. Now to fix that, we just need to reboot the Play 1 by unplugging it from power for a few seconds and then plugging it back in. Make sure that you do this for every Sonos player that you have in your home. Once they're powered up again and they show a solid white light, they'll reappear in the Sonos app and you'll be all set. Both my Sonos systems in standard and boost setup are now updated and ready to go now that I've gone through these steps. And if you have any additional questions on this process, you can head over to support.sonos.com to get in contact with us and we'll be happy to help out. Thanks.